I am absolutely remaining bullish on Bitcoin. I am in the mode of long and chill. The dips that come on Bitcoin right now are long opportunities. I am expecting higher price targets to be hit. And in this video, I'm also going to share with you a really nice correlated market that I've been tracking. Uh, basically, it's moving first and Bitcoin follows. So it's a really good heads up signal on the next move to come on Bitcoin. So you know, I'm very transparent here on YouTube and I'm going to be telling you a lot of the things I've already told to my group. So, you know, I am long and chill. I'm not shorting here. All the drops that we are seeing are simply buy the dip opportunities because we do have those untapped higher targets. So, yeah, I'll share with you those targets. I'll be explaining exactly why I am so bullish and not taking any short trades yet. So, Let's get straight into what you're here for. That is the trace. That is what we're looking towards next on the charts. So I will pick up right where I left off my last video for you all, which is after we saw that drop to the downside. And in that video, I was, you know, really making it clear I am still remaining bullish. Uh, all the dip that we are going to be seeing is still a long opportunity. So in that last video, I was talking about the potential of the one-to-one. -one. And even if we had dropped all the way down to like $36,000, $37,000, that is still for me a buy the dip opportunity. Why? Because when we have such big, higher untapped targets, the lower we drop is just the better the buy opportunity. So yeah, even if we'd seen that drop to 36 k I would have been lapping that up and absolutely buying that dip heavily you know, with the high probability that price will go up in, you know, to, to hit the targets that I have. So really simply, after that video, we had another, you know, nearly 48 hours of data. And during that next 48 hours, we formed a very important pattern. And it was this symmetrical triangle. This is why I'd always say pay attention to Igor's daily live streams. And, uh, you know, if you aren't watching these live streams, you absolutely can via the champions membership. Yesterday in the champions daily live stream, he simply showed this lovely triangle set up on Bitcoin, which of course, when we see the breakout leads to, you know, a buying opportunity for higher prices to come. What happened next? We got a simple breakout of that triangle and yeah, well, naturally a very large rise to the upside that followed. You even got a back test when looking at our Japanese candlesticks here. Breakout, back test rise. On top of that, you had those really big bullish divergences forming yesterday. So while we are trading around the low of the triangle, you had uh, some big bullish divergences forming. And so on top of those bullish divergences, you had the triangle, which simply broke out as well. And then you had a lot of reasons to then be, you know, really under the thought process of we're no longer searching down for lower prices and you got to trade the charts as they're given to you, right? And on that moment, upon seeing this, it's really simple. Look for higher prices, expect those higher prices. So I'm just reminding my team as we were still trading below the low. And this is where some people like jump into swing failure patterns. They, they you know, they get a little bit too uh, wanting to short the market. So I just come in and tell my team, you know, really expect the range high to be hit next. Long and chill, not shorting here, still remaining bullish. And uh, then as we broke out of the sideways range, just telling my team once more, I'm going to simply go to sleep here <laughs> and I am not going to short here now and I'm not going to short overnight. I'm going to remain long and bullish only while I sleep. And then I woke up this morning to a very happy decision. And then I went into another Bitcoin live stream <laughs> where we do obviously those daily morning updates. So yesterday, Igor gave the triangle breakout and today I talked through the team of why I am remaining bullish once more again. So uh, that gives you the exact reasons of what has happened over the past 48 hours that, you know, the, you know, the technical perspective on the chart with the triangle, the bullish divergences that formed in that triangle and that moved to the upside. And again, if we had moved down towards 37K, I would have absolutely lapped up that dip as well and uh, bought it heavily. We didn't see that. We saw a new pattern form. We had to adjust with the charts, trade the charts. And, you know, we we correctly went to the upside as we were wanting to see. So what I want to share now very briefly is a correlated market, which isn't really a surprise, but it is giving a very good heads up. So if you're not aware of it, I want to make you aware of it now. And really simply, you know, the, the standard one that we all know about when we talk about 
correlations and inverse correlations. We know DXY, okay, the dollar index is inversely correlated, right? So today we see Bitcoin up and we see the DXY down. They're inversely correlated. It's our inverse, uh, uh, you know, that's simply the inverse correlation. And when we talk about correlated markets, we all know the ES, right? So I've been, I'm a very, very, very big bull when it comes to the stock market. You all know me. <laughs> if you've ever watched my content over the years, all I will say is it's, it's hard for me to ever get bullish Um it's hard for me to ever get bearish on the stock market. I'm always bullish and I'm always expecting new highs. So that's no real surprise, right? I have longs on the S&P. I'm holding underlying stocks and, and just really simply bullish when it comes to the stock market in general. But one specific stock to be aware of is Coinbase. And, you know, when it simply comes to even simple strategies such as filling the gap. OK, so here we formed a nice gap on Coinbase. This was back on the 6th of December. We were trading above the high and we're looking for this gap to be filled. And that really simply fill the gap. And you have that long on Coinbase lining up really nicely around one hundred and thirty five dollars. What happened next? Price comes down here, fills that gap that we're looking at and gives a very nice long opportunity. And with that long opportunity on Coinbase itself, that is a very good heads up when Coinbase is moving up so strong that Bitcoin is going to follow. And this is something I've been paying close attention to. We start to see that strength on Coinbase and Bitcoin is following along. Of course, their charts are looking different right now. Uh, while we're getting internal price action on Bitcoin, uh, on Coinbase, Bitcoin is moving very much even more volatile and, and bullish, one could say. But this is giving a very nice heads up. When you're reaching support on Coinbase, you've got to be expecting, a, you know, really a bounce in this big bull market that we're in right now. And so that's a very nice heads up to expect higher on Bitcoin. So I wanted to bring that to your attention as well. So you're just aware of, you know, you really I'd be tracking Coinbase as well. So that's just coin the stock ticker. Okay. So now in terms of the targets that I have on Bitcoin, where I'm looking for next and why I remain so bullish. Uh, before I get to that, I'll just give one really quick update. And that is, again, if you want to be getting in on these daily live streams where we go through the charts, we go through Bitcoin every day, we go through the stock market every day. So if you want those daily live stream updates, giving you our plans, what we're looking at, that's what you can get in the champions membership. With the contenders, that's where you get all of the education so you can learn the theories and the strategies that we teach. Uh, what we've also added in now is, of course, the live trading, the weekly live streams of altcoins, AMAs. And if you are quick, uh, you can actually join in the weekly altcoin live streams. This is an altcoin dedicated to finding uh, alt setups. And Severin actually has an extremely high win rate on these altcoins. So that is one that you do not want to miss. <laughs> If you are interested in altcoins, uh, because yeah, that's where the uh, that's where the what could we say? That's where the the goodies are made. That's where you're going to be seeing a lot of very successful setups in the weekly altcoin stream. Uh, final announcement that I will say is that you can obviously see me here trading Coinbase. You can see me trading the S&P 500 index. If you're interested where I'm trading that, that is on BingX. And we do still have the deal on with BingX that you could take advantage of. I'll leave it in the comments down below. It's obviously always on the deal page on our website. But we currently have a, a unique and exclusive deal for chart champions people uh, that sign up via our affiliate link. So if you want to take advantage of that, I'll leave it in the comments below. You can, of course, get extra trading bonuses by being under the chart champions link. And so I'll leave that down below. So there, that's where I'm trading Coinbase stock market. Also getting in on some Bitcoin trades. Bybit is still my primary exchange, but being X is this nice, nice secondary option where I can get involved a little bit in the stock market. So yeah, it's obviously a non-KYC exchange and very open in that regards too. So it has has some positives. Uh, but yeah, Bybit as always remains my main. But yeah, got a little bit on being X for uh, taking advantage of some of these these stop moves as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, bringing it back to the charts. As I've made it very clear, I am I'm definitely bullish. I'm expecting higher. I'm not shorting here. I haven't shorted anywhere over the past few days, right? So. Uh, yeah, for me, I'm, I'm absolutely looking for higher. The next level above us, uh, which is not new highs, but does have some really great confluence, is between 43,800 to 44,200. So we got this nice little zone above us. So write this down, 43,800 uh, to the daily here. Here you have some really nice confluence in terms of new naked point of control, some big monthly 
uh, volume up here, weekly volume and a daily level itself. So that really sits between 43,800 and, and 44,200 as you can see the daily that I have marked. This is a zone of resistance that you do not want to just be oblivious to. You cannot, uh, you know, because you, you can get a reaction here. And if you're not aware of what the, the levels of resistance that you have, you're going to be very confused if you start to get a reaction. For example, I'll show you here as I got it loaded up. It's weekly naked point of control at 44k, right? So you have a lot of different levels lining up in this little bit of a zone from 43,800. I'm not saying it's the biggest resistance in the world, but I am saying it's an acceptable level if we get the reaction we're looking for for a short trade. Okay, so I'm not shorting here and I am expecting this to be tested. It's too big of a level for me to think it's not going to be tested. Okay, from here we can judge the reaction. Do we get a bearish reaction? Do we get even some sort of SFP type trade off of these last series of four highs before the big drop to the downside? Lots of liquidity here for that setup. Okay, if we though do what we've seen over the past few days, just get above that level and flip it into support, no bearish reaction, nothing at all. And we just go on to flip it into support. That's where we're going to be searching to our higher price targets, right? So it's for me a very key zone. Do I think it's the biggest resistance in the world? No, I do not. Will I be interested in a short if I get a good reaction? Yes, I will be. If we simply flip it into support, that's where I'll be looking back up towards, you know, once again, 45, really $48,000 zone. So for me, you know, this is the way that we teach. This is the way that I trade. This is the way that we make profits. It is a level to level game uh, with trading with that bias. So we always understand the most likely probable next move. So there's nothing ever random. We got to make at the end of the day, understand the data that we have. And then with that data, make informed decisions. So are we going to go to sleep long and bullish or are we going to hedge a short trade before we sleep? Are we going to expect higher or are we going to remain long and chill? Are we going to remain looking to buy the dips or actually is there now a sign of weakness and we want to look to short each rise? You know, those are the sort of informed decisions that we can only make when we fully understand technical analysis, when we understand the order flow and the data, you know, really that evidence that we have in front of us. This is how we make those informed decisions. And I think it's fair to say my informed decisions have been uh, correct as of late, you know, leading into those bullish biases. So, you know, I, I will never tell you trading is easy. It's a piece of cake. You're never going to lose. No, trading is hard okay it does take time and dedication to this but once you put in that time dedication and got the experience that's when you can start to make it it look pretty easy right uh, but at the end of the day you know we're here to support you on your journey to get you up to you know really a professional level of trading where you can go out on your own and trade and make money okay that's where we want to get you to so if you want to get onto that level you know where to go chartchampions.com i'm always going to tell you this is the best place if you want to be learning to trade i'm very content with uh the whole team that we have from the back end to the front end the coaches everything is you know i want to say is very world class and uh we want to just show you you know, just show you, put some faith in us and, and we're not going to let you down. It's as simple as that. You know, we've come on leaps and bounds over the past few years and really unrecognizable from where we were in that 21, 22 era. You know, it's, it's you know, I just want to say that if you're an old, old member, come back and, and take a look. And I, I really know you're not going to be disappointed with the progress we've made. So uh, I'll just wrap it up with that. I, I know we can change your lives just uh you know, just come into it with the right mindset and we're here for you. So yeah, if you want to be involved in the education, if you want to get educated, if you want to be joining into those daily live streams, the live trading, the altcoin streams, all of that, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. And then if you want those heads up on the charts or what we're looking for, that's also what you get from the champions, right? So cheers, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope it all makes sense. I've talked you through the next targets that I have, the reasons why. And of course, if we get the reclaim, we keep going level to level to the upside. But for me, I remain with the bias all dips right now are long opportunities while we remain with such incredibly high targets untapped so i hope that's clear thank you ever so much and i'll see you over inside of the discord or the membership on the website thank you and that's me signing out goodbye <laughs>